When thinking of places that have similar flags, a few thoughts come to mind. Nordic countries are one of them, with the cross being featured in many of these flags. One though that I noticed that stands out is Central America. All these flags here have a lot in common, with a varying shade of blue bars being present in every flag. So today let's check out the history to see where this development came from. So our story goes back to the 19th century. At this point, Central America was still part of the first Mexican Empire. Now the Mexican state wasn't too stable at this point, only recently gaining independence. When the first empire was replaced by the Republic, there was a brief gap between it with the supreme executive power being head of the Mexican state, and allowing self-determination for Central America. They would break off to form the USCA, or United States of Central America. And they would adopt this flag, which if you have noticed looks very similar to its modern Central American counterparts. Now the Central American Republic was hardly a stable state and ended up falling apart by 1841, with El Salvador being the last one to leave the Federation. But in 1896, the nations of El Salvador, Honduras, and Nicaragua tried to reform the Republic, but neither Guatemala or Costa Rica would join, despite considering the idea, and it would fall apart in only two years. You can see again, however, the flag they adopted is again very similar to many modern Central American countries' flags. I should point out by now what these blue and white colors mean, by the way. So to start off, when the original Central American Republic was created, they were inspired by the flag used by the United States of South America. So with the blue stripes, it represented the two oceans that bordered the subcontinent, the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean. And the white bar that is represented in the middle of these flags, the white color is supposed to represent peace and purity, which is what white usually signifies in color meaning. Also, in some of these flags, it features a hat called the Phrygian hat, which represents revolution and was iconic over in France during their revolution. So overall, the reason why these flags are similar is sort of a pan-Central American feature, and all of them use it to symbolize their once united history. So that wraps up the video. If you have any other questions, I'll try my best in the comments. Anyways, see you all in the next video. See you later.